What's up, with you guys? Your man Joe. So, I'm gonna get into this real quickly because this is very much of an interesting, I guess, subject or word that needs to be come out because it's been heavy on my heart just, uh, just recently. Um, well, before I, before all that, I was just online, you know, going on the internet, being nosy as usual, and. I didn't even, there was a video, I just saw a title, I didn't even looked at it, um, until, you know, until I pressed on it, but when I saw the title and a thumbnail, um, uh, and I was thinking the thumbnail saying losing salvation, or you lose your salvation, or in, in that way, um, something just downloaded me, downloaded something into my spirit, um, and strongly urged to speak this out to people now i heard of the statement um about can christians lose their salvation um and i had to say yes you can lose yes you can lose your salvation um but three ways actually three ways that you can actually or three things um uh, that you actually that you can actually lose your salvation is number one Denying the Holy Spirit. Now, I don't know how many people that do deny the Holy Spirit um, in any capacity. Please, Lord, please, Jesus Christ, and everybody, please guide me in this matter. Um, uh, through your Holy Spirit. Um, and, I, and I heard very cases about, especially about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. That you know, I heard that that has stopped a long time ago, which is highly wrong. The the gifts of the Holy Spirit is up and running even to this day. Um, this could be that could be the way that a lot of people believe that uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit are no are no longer necessary. So yeah, so that's also denying the Holy Spirit. Or if the Holy Spirit showed you something or told you about something, and you have a high disregard of it. Yeah, that could also mean that you deny the Holy Spirit, which means that you deny Jesus. That means that you deny the Father. So, yeah, so denying the Holy Spirit um, is, uh, it could be a chance that you could be losing your uh, salvation. What was another one? Another uh, way or thing that, uh, that could lose your salvation is denying the existence of hell yes there's a lot of police there's a lot of believers that believe that hell does not exist hell is a construct or a, or a thought that people are being tormented forever and ever yes there are believers that believe or people that believe that hell does not exist due to maybe i don't know maybe because it's over scared or or maybe they think about that the bible is not being taken it shouldn't be taken too seriously and uh yeah no but people hell is a real place i even to a point that i think it's it's even a physical instead of a spiritual it could be both i don't know um yeah so denying that hell the hell existence um could be the could be one of those um uh, could be the thing that you are losing your salvation Another thing, uh, which is interesting, um, at least to me, that denying the Sabbath day, denying the Sabbath day. Did you guys know that the Sabbath day has been, is the, one of the com most uh, commandments of God has been brought up, to, brought out through the, uh, through the Bible. The Sabbath day, you know, is pretty much a day of a day of rest and re a day of rest or a day to honor God. Maybe do sleeping on the Sabbath day or not really doing anything. The way that how the the instructions of the of how to do a Sabbath day, you know, you're not supposed to do anything. Everything has to rest. Even your children, your wife, even your car or your car or chariot. Um, please read the right Bible about the uh, or read about the uh, Sabbath day. Um. Yeah, so if you're constantly working or not resting and whatnot, you could be 
losing your salvation. Unless you all repent, your likewise will be perished. God forbid, though. God forbid. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. This means it. Why well, do I feel like I said the other word? But anyway, um, yeah, pretty much it. Those are the three ways or three things that you can lose your salvation. But I, like I always say, please seek the Lord Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit yourself. Um, but without further ado, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Alright, here's your man Joe.